can say there are three cooking vessels here. Rice, dal, rice, dal and sambar can be prepared. So we can see the, uh, the steam from the system will be connected to a steam storage tank. From there, it is connected to uh, existing boiler system. So here we can see our system is connected to the existing boiler system in a hybrid mode. So when sun is shining, so we automatically we <coughs> open this wall and we can pour uh, rice or dal and <coughs> we inject steam into it so that cooking will happen. So this is a steam jacketed vessels, three, two steam jacketed vessels and this is a direct injected. Uh, so here in this system, steam will be directly mixed with like rice and all. Whereas here, uh, chicken or uh, other items we can Hello everyone, I am Madan Mohan Reddy on behalf of ERS Glass Tech Solar Private Limited. We have installed a solar boiler with the support from GEDA, Goa Energy Development Agency in Goa University. So it's a solar boiler. The concept is very simple. It's a mix of a sunflower plant and a magnifying lens. So like a sunflower plant, the system automatically tracks the sun from morning to evening. And as a, using a magnifying lens, how we concentrate sunlight and burn a paper. The same way we use a solar grid mirrors uh, to concentrate sunlight at the focal area so when the system is facing against the sun like a sunflower plant the sunlight hits the mirror surface and gets reflected and concentrates at the focal area at the focal area we send water by using a pump because of that concentrated sunlight the water gets heated up and turns to steam that steam will be connected to the final application let's say cooking or laundry or any other process it uh, applications in industries so this is basically a substitute for fossil fuels like LPG diesel furnace oil for any where heat is required so we install our system in a hybrid mode meaning that any existing boiler we integrate with that existing boiler in such a way when sun is shining our system will be active and their existing system like a boiler will be hibernated when sun is not there their uh, their existing system will automatically activate thereby there will be no disturbance in their final process so this way we can actually save energy uh, save fuel fossil fuel also uh, save ecological benefits also as well now this plant, uh, the, considering the size of this plant, this plant is sufficient uh, to yes. produce steam, uh, to steam for cooking 400 people. Uh, 400 people means two meals per day so it's almost 800 meals per day we can generate so it's almost equal to saving uh, one to two commercial lpg 19 kg cylinders per day so the recovery of the system in is less than three years under three years we get the recovery roi and this system is currently used for what purpose now in this frame uh, he here we are using the system for uh, cooking for this burst men's hostel university hostel cooking and uh, hot water and does this give any backup means after the sun sunshine yes we have fitted a steam storage system as well so that whenever uh, we can store up to 12 hours of sunshine sunshine energy so that in the morning breakfast generally happens before sunshine sunrise so we can use the previous day's solar steam uh, for catering uh, breakfast and other applications even for during non-sunny hours we can have a storage at any season, uh, what do you work out? Yes, uh, as I said, we have integrated the system with the existing system, existing boiler. So, rainy season, if there is no sun for, let's say, five to seven days, so their existing system will automatically get activated. So, thereby, it's basically a hybrid solar plus existing boiler system. So, the maximum priority will be for the solar and uh, almost in our country, uh, 300 sunny days we can expect. So, almost 70% of the fuel consumption can be reduced offset by solar heat energy.